So today we're going to look at the Song Dynasty, in particular the wills, the rulers of the Song Dynasty and how they led their kingdom to prosperity. So we're going to particularly zone in on ruling more. During the Song Dynasty there was an explosion of population. In roughly 100 years, the population doubled and they had a cultural revolution and many other technological benefits that happened. How did they do this? How did these rulers end up ruling so much? Well, the first thing they did was they nourished the bodies of their people. They had an agricultural revolution producing a lot of food. And this is essential if you want to rule more because the human body is very much like an animal. And if you don't feed the human body, it turns very angry. It will storm your kitchen, take all your food. And if you still don't feed them, the human body will burn down your kingdom. So the first step to ruling more is always nourishing the bodies of your people. Then you must allow their hearts to become cultured. As their bodies become healthy, they want to express themselves in unique ways. And you have to allow your people as a ruler to express themselves in the ways they see fit, not the ways you think are good, the way their hearts compel them to express themselves. But after you've nourished their bodies and cultured their hearts, then it's time to allow their minds to become diversified. And here's where the Song Dynasty really succeeded for a long period of time. There was a cultural revolution and many technological advances came because they allowed their people to some degree to have a large diversion in the way they thought. There was many different types of schools of thought both in religion and in technological advances and this is the real test for you as a ruler. Will you allow the people in your kingdom to think as they see fit. Your temptation will be to think that you are the one who thinks correctly, but you must allow their minds to become diversified and therefore they will bring unique benefits into your kingdom because they're thinking uniquely. So you can see that ruling more requires healthy bodies, freely cultured hearts, and the diversified minds to allow uniqueness to rise within your kingdom. Because ruling more requires controlling less.